What is going on guys? I'm bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. Um, an XP farm slash item farm using a mob spawner. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this will not work with spiders. It only works with zombies and skeletons. Okay, so let's get busy. First thing you're gonna want to do is light this up so these guys can't spawn on you while you're building this thing. Um, so I'm just gonna put the torches down so they don't get in my way and they won't get in your way. Kill these guys because they're annoying. All right. Now what you're gonna want to do is um dig out a space nine by nine. So right now it's five by five, I think. Yeah, five. So this would be six. This would be seven, eight, and nine. There's different sizes depending on um, because there's like five by five dungeons, and there's also seven by seven and five by seven dungeons. Basically, with five by five, you have to dig two out to make it a nine by nine. So I'm gonna speed this up while I do this. Alright, now that you got a 9x9 nine nine radius area, let me make sure, yeah, 4, 4, yeah, now that you got 9x9, nine nine, you're going to want to, uh, skeleton, you're going to want to build up to and then just make a roof like this, just so this is, um, 2 up. You're gonna make a roof. Alright. Now that you got a roof, you're gonna wanna put torches right here, right here, right here, right here. Oh god, almost destroyed the spawner. And then some in the corner, because they like to spawn in the corner. Oh god. Let me go ahead and block this off so it doesn't get confusing. Get out of here. Get out of here. Whatever. See, look, you see how annoying these guys are? Okay. Destroy. Okay. Alright, so this is the area they'll be spawning in. Now you're going to want to dig down two blocks all the way around. So you'll be roughly two blocks underneath the spawner. Alright, now that you dig down two blocks, the next step is you're going to want to build a, I don't know what it's called, you're going to want to build like a crevice, and you can either have it going either which way you want your room to go, but I'm you're going to want to have it go right underneath this, so make one of these. Like so. My room's gonna be this way, so I'm just putting it this way. And you're gonna get a water bucket. Let's see. Let me get a water bucket. You're gonna need a lot of water buckets for this. So just make sure you have a finite water source. 
And you're gonna put that like so. Until it stops. Alright. Now that you got this main river flowing, you're gonna want to dig back four blocks right here. One, two, three, four. Oh god. Yep, just cover up if you run into anything like this. So that way you can have water flowing and it just end right there to capture all your mobs. And do the same thing on the other side. You have to put water all back here. So we're gonna do that. Oh yeah, make sure you destroy these so the water can flow underneath it, of course. I accidentally broke a block. Okay. Now you're going to want to put water right here. Mm. Alright, so after you do one side, it should look like this. Just cover it up. Like. Okay, and then you're gonna do want to do the same thing on the other side. I'll speed it up so you don't have to watch it again, but you're just gonna do the same exact thing. Alright, now that you get that out of the way, it would look like this. That way, if any mobs spawn anywhere, they'll get pushed down this, and they'll flow down the river and come down here. Make sure you put water right there, so once they flow down this, they will hit this and continue to flow. So make this go all the way back until the water stops flowing. Uh, yeah, right here. <clears throat> okay, the next step, you're going to either want to, you can either make the room go this way or this way. So you're going to dig, this is where the um, killing room is going to be. So you're going to dig three blocks over, or four blocks. And this will be where your room is. I'm just going to make it small so I don't have to keep digging. Just as an example. This is where the main killing room is going to be. Just light this up so no mobs spawn. Alright. Okay, next step, you're going to want to dig 23 blocks high. So just jump stack and dig. Just count 23. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now that you got 23 up, you're going to dig four across. Make sure you lined it up with like where your room's going to be because you're going to have to come out right there. And just dig down until you hit the room. If you lined it up, you right, you would hit the room and land right here. And then you're going to have to get rid of all this cuz you're not going to need it. Let's see. So you have 23. 23 is the height where um Skeletons would just about die, so you can kill them in about two hits or so. So it goes up 23, skips three blocks, and then you need to skip three blocks. You can't do two or one, you have to do three. 
All right, now this is where the water and signs come in handy. Basically, I put one right here just so I can get over here to the room easier. Easy. Don't fucking think easier. You're blah blah blah. Okay, easily. And I'm gonna put a sign right here. Water. Sign. This way, when the skeletons come down, their heads barely just hit this, and the AI automatically know to swim to the top of water. So if you just keep doing this, it makes like a water elevator for them to come all the way up. Just do this. You just repeat the process. So, sign. Water. Sign. It's quite annoying to do. But, you know, it's definitely worth it because of the XP you get. And I should just fly. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, this is a lot easier. Of course, you're not going to be on creative when you do this. So, you know, do what you got to do. And it is well worth it. Cause I'm almost to the top. All right. If you have a space in between, just put. You have to, you know, put two right here so they can go up to the top and then flow down this way. But you're gonna want a sign right here so it stops the water. That way they'll fall off and come down here. Well, that wasn't a good example, but yeah, they'll... Let's make sure this works right. So just test it out and make sure you can get up by just holding down shift. Not shift, but space. And you'll swim all the way up and then come over here. So basically, you got the hard part down already. Next. You can cover up this. You don't need it. Okay, next you're gonna get some sticky pistons. You need a couple sticky pistons. Redstone. And a redstone repeater. Oh, and a switch. This is optional, you don't need to do this. Wh which? Switch. Oh, God damn it. My. Okay, not a switch, a lever. What am I talking? You'll need a lever, not a switch, or all that other bullshit I just said. Make sure it's right there. Back to. Alright, and. I knew I had it right. You're gonna put a redstone repeater. Some redstone. Bleeding all the way right there. And then your lever. This did not work. What I did wrong. Oh, right, 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 right. You guys learn from my mistakes, hopefully. You want to have it up there. Not down one. My bad. And then put the lever. So now... What? Okay, this is gonna work for sure, for sure. Okay, now it will work. If this doesn't work, I'll kill myself. Boom. Okay, you see that works. And this is just, um, well, you'll see. Put this across like so, so the mobs can't harm you. And now I'm going to show you how it works. Let me go break all the... Just dig over here so I can break all the torches. Let's 
so you can get the mobs to spark start spawning. And since you're in a nine by nine area, you'll get like from two to nine spawning. Oh, they already started to spawn. So what's gonna happen? They're gonna come down here. They're gonna go up. They're gonna swim up this. Okay, you'll see. Hold up. And now they'll swim up, go across, and fall down and get damaged. Okay, guys, this is the finished project. This is on my server, so I have an XP farm and item farm on my server. As you can see, you'll see them spawn right here. Just give it time, they'll just spawn any second. Come on. Okay, anyways, when they spawn, they'll go down, up the elevator, down, fall down this, and then they'll land right here. And it takes either one hit or two hits to kill them, and you can level up so fast from this. And you can see I put an enchantment table right there. You get a ton of bows and a ton of arrows for doing this. So if you're on a server, you'll, t you'll have an advantage from everyone. And you get a ton of XP. I'll fast forward it and wait for a bunch of them to come down. I'll fast forward it five minutes so you guys can see how many you can get in five minutes. Okay guys, so it's been five minutes and you can see how many skeleton archers. And you just kill them and you'll see how many levels I go up. So I was at two, I'm already at five. Seven. A good thing will be if you click this for like a second, you may, they make it one hit. Normally they're two, so. Oops. Yeah, that just kills all of them. But if I if they weren't already hurt enough, and you click it once, you can just hit them once, and they'll die instead of a couple times. But yeah, and you can level up to like level twenty in five minutes, maybe even thirty. Well, this is my first tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's not as great as it could be, but I tried. Please leave some feedback and like the video if you found it helpful. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later.